been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me to tomorrow Wind into myself Away from things I let go Floating on the way We go bottoms up Well, today's gonna yes. be a good day. We're really hopeful that we can actually start putting the, um, the motor back together. This is, uh, this, is, this is big, this is big for us. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be consulting the book and we're gonna be consulting uh, Jolt and uh, anybody else who walks by. Uh, we've, got the, we've already got the, um, the shafts actually in place, as you can see. We got them torqued down to spec now uh the bearings are in place uh, that's that's all done the main bearings um crankshaft bearings right so aiden's actually got uh this seal kit we got from american diesel core and uh, we're going to be going through it and everything that needs seals is going to get new seals brogan is not happy about being behind me he would much rather be next to me, but then when he's next to me, That's he's not happy being next to me. It's like, I want to be over there, but then I want to be over there, but then I want to be over there. Just, he's just a puppy. Right side up, she's not. We've got it upside down right now. Take it back out here and double check. Oil feed Oil seal. seal housing to block gasket, timing gear housing, timing gear housing gasket, right? Right. We would not be anywhere near where we are without guys like this guy. Yeah. Hello. Or this guy. Hola. Hola. <laughs> ready to put the, ready to put the timing gear housing on. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? What are you doing? We've got um, the oil seal, and we have the timing gear housing to the block gasket in place. We use lithium grease to hold those in place while we position the housing. The housing is actually a very heavy, large piece. So while we get that in place and the bolts, we got the bolts all cleaned up and ready to go. And uh, now we're just going to... We're gonna, we're gonna put it on there, right, son? What are you guys doing? Nothing. Quiet on this. There's no one that stole the papers here, they're up here. I think it's hanging in the balls now. So it's coming. Uh, this is a rusty one. You see, it's outside this section. The three rusty one. I mean, red one. Yeah, yeah rusty this one is coming over there. All right, so we have these spacers, right? Mm -hmm. This one's gonna go here. It's like a, it's also a spacer. It's like a washer spacer. It's gonna go here. And then this one has the key notch slot. slot, yeah. It's kind of holding that one where it needs to go. All of this should be fine in a home.
diamond marks. up and on all the way flush here's a flush And he says the torque on these is 12 to 15 foot pounds. And apparently, there is no seal, no gasket. It's just machined metal on metal here. Machined metal on metal. Putting the motor Hi. back together. Asher, what are we doing today? Hi. Doing good. Say, so putting the motor back together. Brogan, what are we doing today? Brogan, what are we doing today? <laughs> it's a no need to mark because. Only one way you can put, so you can put opposite because it's have no the studs. one fit here, yeah. The studs. It's just only important to okay. make sure it's go back in the same connection or Do I need oil? Yeah, we can oil it. This one, pretty good. Hey, what's that oil look like that we in have the right piston. there? When we shrink at the ring. We gotta figure out which way these yeah, dimples is, go. Is it, Take a look yesterday. In the foils though. Right? Wait, but you still can see because we just fill it up with the foil, this hole. So right. you still see this Mickey Mouse ears. Mickey Mouse ears, yeah. Soda. <laughs> it's a really cool little tool. I think it's brass. It's brass? Yeah. It's gonna be like a piston drop tool and use it to keep the rings in place as we drop them into the cylinders okay. cylinders are all clean we've been keeping the area as sterile as we can as clean as we can while we're Doing all the work, everything's been staying covered and Beedy, beedy, tiny one. Oh, it looks like it's no, oh, it's the same size. Alright, so we're putting the pistons into the block. Jolt made us this piston. Um, ring compressing tool so that we can easily put the pistons inside the block. I just gotta lube them up really good, slide, make sure the cylinders are are completely clean, free of any kind of debris, anything at all. And as you're sliding them down in, we're having to be super precise on the angle because you don't want them to bind on the cylinder walls as you're dropping the pistons down in. And then I guess we're gonna probably release these, these. Nope, nope we're just gonna, just gonna push slap it. Slap it in. Just tap it down in there, huh? Yep. Nice. So exciting. I'm moving the crankshaft so it's easier to slide the rod. What are they called? The, the rod things? The, the piston connection rod. The piston connection. The part where the rod connects to the crankshaft. What's that called? There's got to be a special name for it <laughs> that we don't know. Yeah, we put stuff together random and we hope it's going to work. Yeah. 
exactly what we do. <laughs> no. No. We're going to start with 70, 75 pounds. And then we're going to come back after we get them all on. And we're going to talk them down to 95, which is spec, right? Right. 90, 95? Right. All right. It's actually 85, 90 okay. foot pounds of torque. Okay, 85, 90. Halfway there. Halfway. Goes the weasel. One High more five. to go. High five. Mm. This, High is, five. this is fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's go back real fast. Yeah, once we start. And it's in a position. It back, yeah. It's in the right position? Yeah, it's in the crank. Okay. Pretty good so far. Lined up? Yep. Keep knocking her down. Perfect. I believe it's all the hardest thing on this engine is to be done. Put it back the head, nothing. Put it back the injectors, it can't separate, it's nothing. This is the biggest. putting all the seals in the right places has got me yeah but got you have worried. a very good book so check it out Victor what? all the pistons are in you put all the pistons in you know now hey this is a magic too So we got to do the paper test, right? Compression, all right? Mm -hmm. I always flinch when it pops. It's been a good day. Got a lot of questions, but had a lot of help. Victor, Joel, stopping by, giving me pointers, helping me out. Aiden, the boys, trying to figure this whole thing out together, but uh, it's, it's been a good day. It's been a productive day. Uh, we've got the uh, pistons in, all four pistons in. We've got everything torqued down to spec. The oil pump is in. We've got everything oiled down. And uh, we're fixing to put the, um, the oil pan to block seal in place. Um, my biggest question, as it stands right now, I'm waiting on a callback from American Diesel Corporation because I have to know if um, if there's a seal from um, from this pump to the block. And according to the book and everything I'm reading, there isn't one. So, kind of curious. Um, you know, there's seals everywhere else. There's gaskets everywhere else, but there isn't anything there. I've got a gasket maker. I can make one. 
but if it's machined to be flush and together, should I put one in? Am I going to okay, rob there. that millimeter of space that it needs to make sure that things are, are flowing correctly underneath it um, and getting the pressure they need underneath it? I'm not sure. So I don't want to put something there that's not supposed to be there, but it sure seems like there should be something there. But I don't know. I'm waiting on a call back, like I said, and hopefully I get that soon. And um, I can just double confirm, triple confirm, and we'll go from there. A lot of times it feels like we take one step forward uh, just to take two steps back. That uh, we get something put together and we have to take it back apart. Or that we're, we're peeling back the layers of, of a problem or, or a perceived problem uh, just to find out that it is way deeper than we could have ever imagined. Um, often we hear how crazy we are. Um, even more often than that, we hear, wow, that's a, that's a lot of work. Or man, you guys got to... You guys took on a big project, and uh, they're right. Everybody's right. Um, well, I mean, maybe we're crazy, but they're definitely right that, that we took on a big project and that we've got a lot of work to do, and that's okay. Uh, that's, that's part of it uh, for us. That's part of the joy for us. We're learning so much. We're having so much fun. We have just a great team of people around us that, that's always so graciously willing to help and, and uh and teach us, uh, help us get things put back together. And, and this week in particular has been a huge joy for us because we're actually getting to see something come back to life, that we're actually, you know, rebuilding something. So thank you for joining us. Please continue to do so, and we'll see you next week. Please check out our blog, and don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Thanks for watching.